Hello, how are you? I'm just walking along. thought we'd talk about core stability today. So there are five, five areas in the formula that I teach of reducing back pain to feel good. And one of them, of course, is relaxation, breathing, meditation is number one. Excuse the cars going by. <laughs> and number two is the stretching. The one we're going to talk about today is number three, core stability. And of course, you've also got your back strengthening, overall strength, as well as mindset and positive affirmations, number five. So with core stability, you know, it's vital you do some. <laughs> um, obviously, it prevents injury more than anything. A lot of people come to Pilates when, you know, things get really not so good, you know. And there's something going on with the back, you know, back pain, prolapsed discs, sciatica. Sorry about the traffic. I thought this was going to be reasonable. <laughs> Never mind. Um, I was teaching my clients the other morning, and one of my elderly clients was saying, "Oh, oh, you know, you're like, look at you. You know, you kind of, you know, you're all fit." And it's like, well, uh, I need it as much as you. Um, she's got hip and back things going on. I've had so many injuries and quite a few road traffic accidents, whiplash, as well as the prolapse disc and spinal stenosis. I have no choice, I have no choice but to look after my body and my back. Um, I'm sure it's prevented a back operation for me. Um, and I was saying to them that, you know, I do what my clients do. I do an hour a week with my sister and my mum, Pilates, together on Zoom. And, but even on that day, I said, said to my clients, and that particular client, you know, I still, I still do my six minutes practice, even though I'm still gonna do a whole hour. Because a lot of people who've had back things get a lot stiffer in the morning, like a lot, lot stiffer. And I find that I'm mega, mega tight and stiff in the muscles in the morning and I need to move. I tend to go for a walk first and then do my mindfulness Pilates practice. And I also find six minutes isn't enough for me either. I need to do more. So I add in the core stability as well as the meditation, the stretching and some core stability as well. Um, it's really important to work the deep abdominals to work those deep abdominal muscles it's so so important and uh, the nice thing is you can do it in a really safe way by starting off you know just nice and gentle with the absolute basics and I think the lovely thing of that is you just build up your confidence that you it is safe to move it is safe to exercise and you can, can do something about it yeah, some people end up pain-free and some people end up, like me, managing the back so much better and at least having a good lifestyle, at least enjoying things that you want to enjoy. So for me, that's being able to walk, being able to cycle, being able to enjoy nature, the beach, the sea, the woods. Um, and now and again, things like stand-up paddleboarding and, and enjoying the mindfulness Pilates. I've upped my practice recently to do bedtime one as well which I find really good just before bedtime to do some stretching, uh, meditation and relaxation. So anyway, <laughs> bit of a spur of the minute um, while I'm out and about walking <laughs> video for you. But yeah, it is safe to move. It's about doing the right things. And I think when you start your core stability with a nice straight back, um, that's really confidence boosting. And also obviously then with the right technique, with the right alignment and all of that as well makes all the difference in having a good teacher um, and you just grow in confidence and the symptoms go down and it helps you maintain how you are regularly to make you feel better basically which is wonderful anyway let me know if today's video has helped or inspired in any way see you soon lots of love